All right, in this video, I'm going to share with you just kind of the quick version on how to evict an individual. Kind of what's the process, I should say, more of what's the process. So we recently purchased a property from an investor who had a non-paying tenant. This particular tenant refused to pay rent and refused to leave, so this particular investor was tired of the home. On top of that, I should say that that particular tenant was damaging the property. So this investment was kind of getting pretty expensive for this particular investor. So the investor thought, you know what, I'm gonna sell the property. Gave us a call, we purchased the home, but now we had to go through the eviction process. So, long story short, what, you, what we did is we gave the individual what's called a notice to vacate. And this gives the tenant um, the notice that he has to basically leave. If he chooses not to leave, then uh, we're going to be pressing further actions. So in this particular case, the tenant, of course, chose not to leave. So we hire an evictions attorney who then goes through the process of serving the individual uh, to notify him when his trial is. So basically, uh, this individual has the opportunity to go defend himself in front of a judge through the judicial through the judicial system. So this particular tenant um, chose not to show up on court date, probably because he knew he you know, was in the wrong, he hadn't been paying rent, um, so not a whole lot of hope there, but uh, long story short, he just didn't show up. So the judge basically sided with our side in that we can now do what's called an immediate uh, vacate. So at that particular point, we notified the tenant that uh, he has to leave, of course, he chose not to leave, so a constable or a sheriff gets involved and does what's called a lockout, where they re literally show up to the house and escort that individual out of the house, and uh, a locksmith or whoever you know is hired to go uh, basically goes and changes the lock to um, basically get possession back of the home. So in this particular case, the constable went, um, basically forces the individual to, to leave, uh, we have the locks changed by a locksmith and then the possession of the property then becomes uh, back to the owner or whoever the you know individual owns the property um, and then just so you know uh, the law states that you have to keep those belongings the, the personal property of the tenant for 14 days now you can take all of that property out of the home so that you can start fixing it up and doing what you need to do and putting it in self storage uh, but of course that's going to cost you money uh, but by law you have to keep it for 14 days so what we typically do is we just kind of leave it in the house um, secure the home and that way the tenant gets in contact with the attorney on when he'd like to go get his stuff it keeps it super simple he goes back to the place basically gets the stuff out and on his way but on that 15th day anything that's still in there um, you know consult with your attorney but uh, to, my, to our understanding becomes of our possession at which point we can donate to the DI, sell, do what we need to do with it to uh, be responsible with those possessions. If it's garbage we can throw it away but if it's not garbage typically we donate it and so um, that's kind of a breakdown of how the eviction process works. If you have uh, got a particular property that you're going to you're going through some headaches with hey you know feel free to give us a call we can uh, help you in this particular situation if you're looking to sell. Um, if you're looking to keep the property, you know, uh, Google eviction attorneys in your area and they will be able to give you a lot of great advice on how to handle that particular tenant. So, kind of just a little simple breakdown on how that process works. We, uh, we go through it often and um, we're very comfortable with it. So if you've got a property that somebody's refusing to pay and you just don't want to go through the legal hassles of evicting someone, you'd rather just sell it, hey, please feel free to give us a call. We'd love to chat with you in regards to your home. Um, one other tidbit on this, you know, obviously we had to buy this property sight unseen because we couldn't go see the house because the tenant was refusing to leave the home. So maybe you're in that situation thinking, how would I ever sell this house? No one's going to buy it if they can't go inside it and the tenant's refusing to let anyone in you know, we might be a good solution. So give us a call. We'd love to chat with you um, in regards to, um, you know, your, your property that you're thinking about selling. All right. Thanks so much for watching.